not really good at these things. Can you hear me? All right, but I wrote a few words down uh, for my daughter's 16th celebration. Um, first off, I'm lucky to have Alicia as my daughter. Okay, and uh, when she was first born, she had this magical power about her. A family that was actually torn through differences and challenges were brought through or brought together because of this beautiful little baby that Crystal and I had. So uh, witnessing how everyone finally dropped their issues between one another and met up, um, they got together and got along for years. The holidays were more wonderful. The visiting the family was a lot more joyful. And uh, she did this. So when she was born, she brought the family together. So uh, when you have family, you know, when you have a brother or a sister or a dad or mother, you don't get to choose. But I'm lucky that Chris and I got to have Allie as our daughter. So when you're building up your friendships and you're building up your family, you know, your external family, you want to find someone that has definition of what Allie holds, which is integrity, honesty, so, uh, loyalty, and trust. And you build out foundation uh, with those relationships, and uh, then you become the best of friends, even if you're not actually related by blood. So uh, these are milestones today. There's a milestone in her lifetime, and I'm blessed to be a part of it. So I just want to tell you happy birthday, and uh, I could speak for mom for a minute that uh, we are very lucky to uh, call you our daughter, and we're blessed to have you in our life. This is a signature cock mocktail. 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 Let me not be on record for that. Um, Dad, Dad's words were beautiful, but I just want to tell you how much I love you and how proud I am of you. And I, I am so excited to be a part of this moment with you, and I can't wait for all of the other ones. Thank you for bringing so much joy to my life. I love you very much. Happy birthday, baby. Thank you. All right, happy birthday, Allie. <laughs> Quick, does everyone know how Allie came up with the spelling and an actual her name? No. no. So Crystal has the better. You know what happened? I never let her say no. That's. I never say no to whatever this woman wants. But trust me, it's. So she's she's yeah she named after grandma. But Crystal and I were sitting when we were younger before you were here. Coming up with a name when she was pregnant. Sitting down writing on a napkin. How to spell your name. That was a different kid, sweetheart. No, no, it wasn't. It wasn't a different kid. She likes to fuck with me. Here. Here, this is yours. Seriously, she says it with such like seriousness in her face. Learn from this woman. She said it like like she like was telling the truth. I almost believed I was lying. God damn. That was not right. Um Ali, you are like the best friend that like <laughs> you were my best friend ever since I came out of mom <laughs> when I was born. And um I know, I know. I wasn't really prepared for this. Um Hey! Hey, uh, sorry, Macy, sorry. I'm the one up here. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to say that I'm proud of you and I love you. And from what 
from everything you've been through, you always came back stronger. <laughs> and like, that's just facts, guys. But like, <laughs> um, from, just from every mean word you said to me, I did not take it seriously. And I hope you like, don't take my words seriously. And you are like the best friend to Layla. These are all your friends here. And they're all proud of you. And they like, are so grateful for you. Cause Right now, they wouldn't really be here like without you because you always kept them going and they kept you going. Just like how you kept me going and how you kept this whole family together. So I'm proud of you and I love you. <laughs> I met Allie because, well, I met her through a friend, but we later found out that we went to the same bus stop together. And then since then, we've just known each other and kept in contact. That was freshman year too. So, when she used to go to Palo, now she doesn't, but. Oh, yeah. Now, now you do. Yeah. Yeah, i known her for like six, seven years. I, <laughs> where did you guys meet though? We met at Darrell, I was a sixth grade, we were sixth grade. It was homeroom, I believe, in a theater. And I believe she came up to me because I'm a very shy person. And yeah, since then, we've been locked in and continue to be locked in. <laughs> She's my little best friend. And... Oh, that's some lyrics there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love her very much. She's my little, for real ride or die. Um, and yeah, that's it. Um, I met Ali at Darrell <laughs> in sophomore year in the bathroom. And then we had a couple mutuals, so we just became friends Mutual through there. What? Mutual friends. <laughs> on the first day of seventh grade in front of our class and I went up to you and I was like, I don't know anyone else, so I'm just gonna be friends with you. And we've stayed friends since then. I'm, I met Ali when I came out of my mom and we've been locked in forever. Cause it's kind of like we have to be locked in. You feel me? We, we kind of have to like each other. I don't have a choice. Love you. Um, I met Ali because we went to homecoming with like a mutual friend and like we didn't know each other. It was freshman year, by the way. Um, and then like everyone else in our friend group had left and we were both <laughs> waiting for rides. And then we've just been locked in since day, since day one. Okay. I met Ali when I was born. And I was rude to her and then she was rude to me and then just kept on going back and forth. And now, she's my friend. friend.